Last week, we finished first place at Darlington, and we shooted our way into the round of 12, and now we got to go to Richmond for the Federated Auto Parts 400. This is, yet again, another night race. Another short track, 28 laps, so let's get there, baby. Qualifying lap starts now, so we are actually going to be doing something a little bit different this qualifying lap. Um, we are going to be just slamming the brakes because we don't really need a tr track position because we are already advancing into the playoffs, so we don't really need a good finish or anything like that. So we did that to pretty much that. We're starting 14th. Not bad at all. We can recover from that. Comment down below who you think got pull. I have an idea. I think it is I Denny Hamlin. I had a feeling it was going to be Denny Hamlin. And uh, I think normally here, because Matt DiBenedetto is in the top 10, normally I would try and help Matt DiBenedetto to win this race. But I'm not. Like, I would try and help Matt Kenseth, Cole Custer, Ryan Newman, and Matt DiBenedetto, but I'm not going to because there's no point in really trying to help any buddy because it's the playoffs and whatever happens happens green flag is out at richmond we are good to go everything is good dandy fine and uh we gotta find somebody to work with here and i think i know who my man is it going to be it's gonna be this guy right here of the ryan newman and is he gonna be able to save that Yes, he is. So, cautions have been turned back on. Just letting you guys know, there's a wall there. Uh, cautions have been turned back on, so we don't have to worry about those um, being off at all. You know, a lot of people actually got in on points with the playoffs because of my, I think it was, what, 13 races that I won in the regular season. So, kind of funny how it worked out. Um, not, like, it's not, I don't know what to say. Like, it's not that big of a deal that it kind of happened, but, like, it's definitely gonna play a role in how the playoffs go. What do you guys actually suggested for the next season that we do is to have um, it kind of like the chase for the Sprint Cup, but that wouldn't really work because I don't know how the playoffs would work, and um, it would pretty much just be the championship race at either Phoenix or Homestead Miami Speedway. It would be one of those two that would technically be a playoff race, which, I mean, it, it would be nice. And next, the next season that we do, we are going to be changing a lot of things. We're going to have DNFs on, and this car is getting a little wonky. That is for sure. Kevin Harvick making a comeback I don't know if I'm losing speed or what's really happening right now but um, definitely not how we started Martin Trex Jr. taking the lead now I've also been running in the middle and the top lanes and at the corners so that's probably also slowing me down so I should probably try and dive underneath Harvick here and uh, go down here. It looked to work pretty good there. Little crossover move action from Denny Hamlin. Taking it outside. And what a surprise. We are already lapping people here at Richmond. Got underneath Denny Hamlin actually pretty quickly there. Um, 
I wonder if we're gonna run this race completely under green. Um, not gonna lie to you guys, I wouldn't be too surprised if we did because of how many laps we've already gotten under green. Car's getting a little loose. That's for sure. And Denny Hamlin gonna wreck. Saves it. These freaking rookies. Come on. Lap traffic holding up Martin Truex Jr. a lot, actually. I'm in the position that I kind of want to be in right now, which is, yes, in the top five. But also, like, second. I wanted to be, like, second to fifth in this. And uh, I can see Martin Truex Jr. right there, right in front of me. My guy is literally right there. I gave him the bump. It looked like he saved it, and he did. And he saved that. Austin Dillon going to give me a little bit of trouble. We take the lead with 15 laps to go. Funny to think that Ryan Priest is in at the playoffs and caution. Nope. Kind of surprising that he's made it into the playoffs. My teammate Michael McDowell not wanting me to. Oh, Michael McDowell. Not gonna. Okay, he's gonna bring out the caution. Let's see how many people have we lapped? Wow. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a little hint. One of the guys that we are driving is in from 15th all the way to 24th. My guy's in there. We are not going to pit. So this actually shakes things up a lot. Because uh, we probably actually should have pitted. That would have been a good idea. Um, would have been a pretty good idea for us. If we uh, did that. Ten laps remain here at Richmond. This car just wants to get sucked up into the wall. Kind of like that. Um, it sucks because, like, I feel like I can't get it to get off the wall. Which, I don't want it to be on the wall. But it keeps, it keeps just going to that wall. And then there goes Denny Hamlin. Boom. Does not save it. I'm going to pull something here and we are going to pit. We are 24th. This is either going to be a good decision for us or a horrible decision for us. We have tires. We can make it on fuel, obviously. Um... We're gonna have five laps to go. Ryan Priest down there. I can tell already that this car is freaking amazing. Still 
Car is getting tight on entry. Not really liking that at all. Um, that's for sure. Almost got wrecked there. White flag presented by Credit One Bank. What can I do here? Can we beat Suarez? Hopefully we do. Hopefully this doesn't come back to bite us. It's going to be a drag race. And Daniel Suarez gets a win. Daniel Suarez just took a playoff spot from somebody. Wow. Daniel Suarez. That's, uh, wow. Um, okay, that is actually kind of surprising. I like how he hasn't, like, done anything at all this season. I don't even, he's not even, I don't even think, I'm pretty sure he's not even in the playoffs. Holy crap. Two-way tie between Matt Kenseth and Joey Logano. Wow. Um, okay, that's uh, very interesting. Um, wow. So, wow. I advance, and I'm pretty sure Denny Hamlin is going to advance. The only people that probably aren't is going to be from 12th on down well a 10th to 16th I guarantee you it's gonna be a struggle for all of those guys to get up to us because holy crap Daniel Suarez just stole one from out under us guys that's gonna be it for today's video don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe for friends if you enjoyed if you are interested in getting a gaming computer please click the link in the description below this video apex gaming pc is absolutely fantastic computers and if you guys use code squad sqad you guys can get 10 percent off yes you're that correctly 10 percent off peace out and i'll see you guys in the next one Yee. -ye.